Hey, what up America? It's your boy Bouchon Glover, Better Black America TV on YouTube. And you have just tuned in to Monday Morning Quarterback. Now today is Monday, September 9th, 2019. And we're going to go ahead and get started. But before we get started, I have to apologize. I have to do a public apology. Let me go ahead and pause this. I have to do a public apology to Antonio Brown. A public apology. You know, I got to say my bad, bro. I didn't I, I know what you was what you was up to, man. <laughs> I didn't know what you was up to, man. I thought you I thought you ruined your career. So I didn't know what you was up to. You know, see, because I suffer from what they call post-traumatic slave syndrome. So I saw you, you know, about to be Kaepernick number two. I'm thinking, man, you about to be blackballed. And then I thought to myself, I mean, you top five, you know, arguably one of the best receivers in the game. So I don't know about that blackball thing, but I do have to apologize to you, brother. My bad, man. You know what I'm saying? Because when when I heard this right here, this is when I said I got to apologize to this brother. Listen to this soundbite right here. This 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 was a you know, you got to listen to it. But this was a, a cleansing and a affir an affirmation, you know, for where we are as a people. You know, the brand is a better black America, you know, so it, it's you can see the shifting and the changing of the guard from the old way to the way, you know, it's going to be. Because, like I said, I don't know what it feels like to be born into freedom but i do feel like I, I i got my papers and i was free but when i heard this right here when i heard this when i heard that right there when i heard that right there when i saw that reaction and <laughs> And he was talking about being free. It hit me. And I was like, wait a minute, man. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There had to be a method to the madness. There had to be a method to the madness. And when I saw that, man, I was like, whoa. Okay. I think we've arrived, people. And when I saw that, I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. The way they used to do things, it ain't going down like that no more. And then when I watched first take this morning and I saw Stephen A. Smith, he was just so upset. You know, Max, Max Kellerman, when they talked to uh, Drew Rosenhaus, the agent of uh, Antonio Brown, and they sounded like gatekeepers. And Stephen A., he was going in and he was ranting. You know, if anybody do what he did, you're going to have a price to pay. I'm saying, man, in my mind, it sounded like he said, if any of you niggas try to escape Master Plantation, he made it, but you niggas going to get hung. That's what it sounded like to me. But congratulations, brother. And somehow the structured contract could actually, you know, he could still get that $30 million that he left on the table with the Raiders. But if he would have played tonight on Monday Night Football, that would have been a guaranteed contract. But would you want to play for the Patriots or would you want to play for the Raiders? I mean, that's a that's a no brainer. You're talking about a team that won multiple championships within the last 10 years versus a team that has lost more games than they have won within the last 10 years. But that was like music to my ears, man. When when Antonio Brown. That's, that shows you, you know, that, like the times are changing. And then we look at LeBron James and with Rich Paul and Clutch Sports and all of that. You know, it, it shows that things are changing. But also, when things begin to change, you know, then you start seeing how the, the old regime does things. Then you start seeing how the old regime does things. Because the old regime, you know, the NFL and you know, the NBA, they want to protect their brand. So they're proactive in their actions. So that's why the NFL, you know, I have to touch back on this, why the NFL partnered up with Jay-Z, because Jay-Z told them, you need me more than I need you. So now the NFL partnered up with Jay-Z to basically from a PR perspective, because I know without shout out, somebody, you know, in the public relations uh, department said, you know what, let's go ahead and put a black face to this so we can actually mend, 
you know, our issues with the black community because we, you know, the NFL did take a dip in their ratings last year with the protests with Kyle, uh, with Kaepernick. But I thought Antonio Brown was about to be in the same situation as Kaepernick. I talked to my homeboy and he was like, he's done. And I was like, you know, I, you know, it's going to be a tough one, but it was, there was some method to the madness and for him to end up, that's the perfect spot for him to be, you know, who don't, who doesn't want to play for Belichick, you know? Who doesn't want to play with Tom Brady? Who does who 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 don't want to play in the system like that? So that that was a calculated move, and it looks like that was the 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 play from jump. So you gotta give a win to the jigs on this one, you know, because you know, like like President Trump would say 10 years ago, 30 years ago, that wouldn't have happened. They would have traded him to Indianapolis Colts. <laughs> they would have just been able to move him wherever they wanted to move him. But now there's a changing of the guard. You know, August 20th of this year, man, we free, bro. So the way we used to do things, we're not doing them anymore. But they they still are uh, basically doing their same tricks. OK, because like I said, I mentioned Jay-Z partnering up with the NFL to, from a public relation perspective, you know, not as an owner, but, you know, as a, a pawn in the chess game. Like he's on the board, but I hate to say it, it's a pawn. But when you if you know, a pawn is, is better to be on the board than not. To be on the board because that's beneficial to him, beneficial to his family, and beneficial to his brand. And we call these anomalies. So when I was watching football this weekend, I saw Shaq, Shaquille O'Neal, the Laker great, the beloved Shaq. I saw him in them Papa John commercials and I said, wait a minute, hold up. Papa John's uh, founding president. And the person that owns the majority of its interests was voted out because of some racial things that he that he stated and the stock plummeted. So Papa John's took a page out of the NFL's handbook and somehow brought Shaq on board. And as an owner, like he owns Papa John's, um, I'm sure he owns some franchises, but they put him on the commercials and he's just, you know, and I, I, you know, we love Shaq. So. Um, I really never really rock with Papa John's, but w will I get some Papa John's? Possibly, you know, but they're, they're doing their due diligence because that always works. You put a black face, just like they gave us a black president, then nothing changed, but it, 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 it gave a balance and it calmed the community down to give us the illusion of power. So when you talk about Shaq, Shaquille O'Neal, you talk about Jigga, Jay-Z, those are what we call anomalies. And those two anomalies are are pawns on the chess game. But when you talk about Antonio Brown, that's a free brother right there. We talk about LeBron James. These people in this generation, they're free. So I love the direction that they're going in, especially with the August 20th, uh, 2019 commemorating that 400 years. And I'm gonna always kind of tie that in because you can see the changing and the shifting of the guard. And you can see how upset some people are. But this is the, the, the way that it's going to go moving forward. And like I said, Antonio Brown, man, congratulations, bro. And, and I formally apologize. I didn't know that there was a method to the madness on this. But then, like I said, with the Shaq, with Papa John's, Jay-Z, the NFL, you know, they're doing their PR public relations. But as a people, what we going to do, you know, what we going to do?